And we've built many kinds of applications on the platform from employee experiences and different employee workflows, uh, like HR service delivery or onboarding or uh, customer workflows. I think we'll talk about some of those uh, in a little bit and industry specific approaches as in, you know, government or finance or, or healthcare and so on. And, you know, we have the ability to create uh, unique mission-based applications using our low code capabilities, again, part of the platform. And when, when you think about how ServiceNow, um, you know, goes to market today, it sounds like we do all these different things, but I always like to bring it back to, we're doing the same core kinds of things. On the ServiceNow platform, you know, we're able to connect different sources of data, different systems, different people, different organizations. And as we bring that data on the platform, we can utilize all the technologies built into the platform from workflow and generative AI capabilities, uh, RPA, our configuration management database, all these different kinds of um, kinds of technologies that are resident and core to the platform, we can use on the data, we can use on the on those systems to drive outcomes. And, you know, we do that in a way with a very, you know, modern, elegant user experience that makes it very easy for people to interact with data across lots of systems to get the work done, to get a result, to serve a customer. And with we're doing that in IT or we're doing that in HR or we're doing it elsewhere. We're doing the same kind of uh, concepts and the same kind of model. We're just applying those ideas in different ways in these different spaces. So because we could do it in IT and we're doing it on the ServiceNow platform, that sets us up to be able to do it in all these different areas of, of an agency. And when ServiceNow is already there and running and successful, uh, I think that's a great starting point to try and meet other requirements agencies have. 